Vanessa. Today we're here to talk to you about clean eating. Yes, I know clean eating is a buzzword or a buzz phrase, so let's break it down. What does clean eating really mean? The Mayo Clinic defines clean eating as consuming more whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats all while limiting highly processed snack foods, sweets, and other packaged foods. The idea of clean eating gained popularity after the movie Food, Inc., which was released in 2008. So this documentary exposed the dangers in the food industry and how additives have created foods that didn't even exist decades ago. People will switch to clean eating for a variety of reasons, but possibly the best reason is to eliminate the toxins in their diet. The Environmental Working Group, or the EWG, states that there are over 10,000 additives that could be considered toxins in the modern food industry. Many of these additives are banned in Europe, but they are still allowed in the United States. So there are sodas, cereals, candy, ice cream, just to name a few, that have these additives. And in Europe, if these chemicals are in the food, there even needs to be a health warning on the packaging. So what can these additives do? Well, they can mess you up. They can disrupt your immune system. They can give you an e increased risk to cancer, cause neurological issues in our children, and weight gain and metabolism changes. Stripping these chemicals can be done by changing to a clean eating diet, including fresh, unprocessed foods, such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains, healthy fats, meats, and fish and dairy. So when you start to switch to a clean diet, you can start to see positive benefits in your body. You can notice clearer skin, it will promote weight loss, increase your energy, give you stronger hair and nails, and maybe even provide better sleep. Some of the food dyes and additives that are in these processed foods are even attributed to sleep disorders, concentration issues in children and adults, and an increased number of headaches. So please note that clean eating is not a diet. I hate the word diet. It's rather a lifestyle change in how you shop for your food and you consume it. So how do you get started on a clean eating path? According to the IIN, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, here are some fundamental concepts to keep in mind when changing your eating and purchasing behaviors to a clean eating model. Keep it whole. Foods that you can recognize from the source. No fancy packaging and no barcodes. So we were talking before, I was talking to Kelly off camera and we were talking about mashed potatoes. You wanna have your mashed potatoes from a whole potato, peel it and mash it rather than going for the box, which is gonna be processed and have things to keep it shelf stable for decades, right? That's a better choice. You also wanna look for grass fed meats, dairy, eggs, whole grains, nuts and seeds. So next you wanna try and buy organic when possible or reduce the amount of processed foods with ingredients that you cannot pronounce. I refer to these processed foods as frankenfoods. So if you go onto a food label that you find in a box, more than likely if it has more than four or five ingredients, there's going to be names on there that you have never seen before. That is your alert that this is a processed food with some additives that you don't want. Next, you want to experiment with home cooking. Hopefully you can find the time to cook for yourself. And when you do that, you're guaranteed a more nutritious meal. When you look for takeout or restaurant foods, they tend to be higher in sodium and sweeteners and have unknown quality of ingredients. Next, you wanna to look to limit refined carbohydrates. Removing or reducing foods like white foods, white sugar, white flour. This includes baked goods, refined grains, and flour such as rice, pasta, pastries, and bread. Instead, look for brown rice and whole grain breads. So there's a little work to be done. Now that you know what you're looking for, it's time to be a food detective. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna see where you are in your pantry. So take a look at your pantry items and don't just go throw everything out. You've earned your money and you've shopped for your food, but rather when you shop, you're gonna to start to replace the items week by week where you can make better choices. When you look in your pantry, that's when you need to be the food detective and you're gonna look at the label and see how many ingredients are there and if there's things that you can't pronounce, probably not a good choice. When shopping for produce and meats, start to purchase organic when you can. I know that can be a little bit more on the budget, so if you are watching the wallet, and who isn't, start to look for the Dirty Dozen and that's available on the Environmental Working Group website. It'll have a dozen 
fruits and vegetables that you can look for that have the most amount of pesticide on it and you can start replacing from there. And if organic foods are not available, such as meats, look for the grass-fed label if you can. So next, when you tour the grocery store, a good rule of thumb is to shop the perimeter of the store. That's where our fresh whole foods are stored most of the time in coolers. When you start to go to the middle aisles, that's when you start to see the boxes and cans and you start to see more of the processed foods. This will naturally start to shift your buying and your purchasing to the natural foods rather than the processed foods in the middle of the store. Cereals, I'm looking at you. Well, thank you for spending your time today talking about clean eating as a lifestyle. As we talked about, there are so many positive health benefits to looking for some foods that are whole and unprocessed and reducing the additives that we're taking in day to day in our diets. I hope you step through this journey with us Hopefully this video has given you enough information to help you determine whether you might wanna make a change into clean eating. And we wish you luck on your journey into swapping into a less processed, more whole food eating lifestyle.